Good morning, and thank you for joining us at Quilt Chat. Here we are back in the studio. We survived. <laughs> we did, and we hope all of you enjoyed the AQS Quilt Week last week here in Paducah. And oh my goodness, did we have not the most beautiful quilts? It, it was so gorgeous. It was very wonderful. It was the best show ever, really. I thought so too. Yes, I thought so beautiful. too. And you know, the judges had quite a task to be able to pick the winners. They did. And Pat Holly was our best of show winner. Yes. And you know what a beautiful quilt that was. And I saw her walking around the show. And so she had this beautiful scarf on and I complimented her and she said, it's a quilt. It's a scarf I made based on designs in my quilt. Oh, how wonderful. And of course, then the next question was, is it for sale? And yes, it was. And so this is the pretty scarf that I bought from That's Pat Holly. So beautiful. Using the designs from That's her pretty. best of show quilt. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Her Janome best of show quilt. Oh. Yes. Well, so congratulations again to Pat Holly and all of the quilters who won awards mm -hmm. at AQS Quilt Week. Yes. It was quite a showing. It was so exciting. Now, Betsy, you just did a survey. I did. Let's we did hand quilting. I love hand quilting. I love it dearly. I think it has a special place in every quilter's heart. And it obviously was popular. 3,000 people responded. Wow. In just a very short period of time. And there were almost 7,000 written in comments. Wow, that's Which great. Is unbelievable for one of our little five question surveys mm -hmm. that we send out. And so it was overwhelming to hear all of the different input about hand quilting. Everyone really had something to say. And it seems like quilters from all the spectrums, whether they were machine quilters, long armors, piecers, applicators, whatever your favorite was, they had something to say about hand quilting. And so much of it, um, of course, was the really beautiful stories about grandma. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the heritage of hand quilting mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, respect and um, tender thoughts about, you know, it being part of our history. And then sitting the, around quilting frames and right, listening, telling stories. Yeah. And yes. that, that's where I came from with it. And that was, was my first introduction was sitting around a frame with ladies that were 80 and older. And I was mm -hmm. 18, and they scared me to death. I was pretty sure life was going to hand me a handful because they had some crazy stories. No, <laughs> knowing what you know today, do you think they to took your stitches out after you left? I'm you know? sure they did the first couple of weeks. <laughs> I am sure. And they were they were very good with constructive criticism. They were quick to tell me when it was wrong because well, they didn't well, mince that's words. That's the way you learn. <laughs> that's good. And I learned really well. You know. 95% of the people that responded, responded saying they felt hand quilting was an important part of the quilting world. Absolutely. And, I and think still all, is. And we yes. all started there in some way mm -hmm. is they made a, a sampler quilt yes. and we learned how to quilt on that sampler quilt. Oh yes, Ricky Thames' first quilt. He had it back yes. there. And I, I what said, fun. I think we all <laughs> made that quilt in those exact same fabrics. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Started. And you know when Absolutely. I made that quilt, that grandmother's flower garden with the little hexagons, I said I did my lifetime supply in that one block. And that's <laughs> yes. all you want. That's yes. all I wanted. And you know, I think hand quilting, people worry it's disappearing, but I think it'll always be part of quilting because it's the one way you could make a quilt for 25 bucks, <laughs> beginning to end. Well, and in <laughs> fact, right? I hear from people from time to time. I, I got an email just recently from a lady who was very adamant about, don't forget about hand quilting. Don't oh, let yes. hand quilting die because she said there are still so many of us out here. Well, I think and that's there's, true. There's no worry of that according to the responses from the survey. Because Good. There was a huge response. Lots of people had lots to say, and um, a lot of the younger quilters, the modern movement quilters, even have made it their own with the big stitch. Oh, movement. sure. And I, I think we just see it coming back new. Yeah. There's a lot of of embellishment coming up too. That's a, yes. a lot of the embroidery stitches are coming back Absolutely. as well, and it's really really nice. So it was I exciting to I see love, everything alive and well. <laughs> I love the slow stitching element. Oh, it's isn't just that wonderful? nice to relax with your stitching it rather is. than having a machine in front of you all the time. Have to well, so fast. we have a beautiful old quilt oh, hanging behind us, and I haven't showed this to anyone before. It's a quilt that I bought. A group in Des Moines was using it as a fundraiser, and they wanted to sell it. And I bought it, and so it's the Bethlehem Star, and it is all beautifully hand quilted. 
and quilted very traditionally, where they stitched a quarter of an inch inside each of the diamonds mm -hmm. in the star, and then the feathered in the in the solid blocks. Nicely done. Yeah, it's, it's, beautiful. A it's a beautiful quilt, and I loved it because it was soft colors. And look at those points. She got all those points. Boom. <laughs> yes, they're right there, aren't they? <laughs> they are. I <laughs> just, you know, have to nod to that when you see it. <laughs> well, and then to bring us up to what's happening today, I brought a couple of my quilts. This is Pilgrim Star by Bettina Havig. Beautiful. And uh, tiny, tiny little stitches. When you can barely see the space between and the stitch, yes. you know how beautiful that it's, is. It's truly incredible. I, I don't know when I've seen stitching so perfect and so small. Tiny, tiny stitches. Mm -hmm. And then this one is uh, Coxcomb New Tradition by Anita Shackelford. And we've used that one before on this program, but I brought it out again today because it is such a beautifully hand quilted quilt. Mm -hmm. She did amazing work and her stitches, of course, if you know any at all, they're going to be perfect. Yes. Because she's just impeccable. Well, so we hope that you'll, if you've got some hand quilted quilts, maybe you'll go post them on our Facebook page. Oh, we love that. Yeah. And oh, share absolutely. them with us and everybody else. Right. Yes. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Yes. All right. Um, and you know, one of the things we saw at the quilt show when the judging was going on was quilters are adding decoration to their binding. And I've done a small sample, and I'm just gonna put it on this white paper so maybe the camera can pick it up a little better. Um, but, and I'll tell you what to, don't do what I did. If I were gonna do this again, I actually folded my binding in half and used the folding line for a marker. I would draw a line, and I would probably draw my fourth of an inch seam allowance on this side, and then the center line in my binding this way. And then you, I think you can guide your foot a little better. Did oh. it cause a lump? It a caused a bit. lump. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, actually I did it twice because the sure. first time I did it, I was way over on the fold and I thought, well, that oh. didn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we learn. Now you have a stabilizer behind there, don't you? I do. And I used a fusible tearaway stabilizer. And so then you can see how I've just taken it and I've torn it. But this would also be a good way, to, uh, a good time to use wash away stabilizer oh, that would. Mm -hmm. because then you could just leave it in there and when you wash the quilt, then you would wash it right. out. But if you're going to do this much stitching, you really want that stabilizer to mm -hmm. stabilize your fabric. Well, your sure. stitches just look so yes. good and it didn't affect the binding at and all. And so if I were to put this on the edge of my quilt, I would fold it like this. Let's see, let me, I'll try to fold it over the edge. Let's do the bottom first, maybe. <laughs> and so your binding. Oh, see how pretty that Your would binding be. would be beautiful on the edge of the quilt. Sure. And I can't wait to try this on a quilt. And you know, we're always wanting to use those pretty little stitches yes. on our machines. Yes. It can be so creative. And yes. especially if you did some kind of a decorative stitch in the interior of your quilt, what a great way to take that exactly. design to the mm -hmm. edge, wouldn't it? When? Well, it was a fun technique, and I wanted to share it with all of you because we're seeing more and more of that on the quilts for something a little bit different. They're just so creative. I always think we can't possibly see anything new, and then every show, it seems like there's a quilt with some, where they're taking it just a step further. That's right. Right. And we did a lot of videos with the winners, and if you're not familiar with our YouTube channel, the AQS, uh, the AQS channel on YouTube is Quilt TV. And so go to YouTube, search Quilt TV. We have more than a thousand videos out there. And I think we've already put up over 30 videos just from the spring right. Paducah show. And uh, so uh, I will just give you a little hint. When you go on YouTube and you watch our videos, there's a button that says subscribe. If you hit that subscribe button, every time we post a new video, you'll, you'll get a notice. Yeah. That's fantastic. Right. Yes, and so then you don't even have to go look for them. We'll send them to you and you'll get the link to go right back in and watch those. They're so much fun. You know what I saw a lot of at the show? What? A lot of people wearing this. Ooh, yay! That the is show fantastic. shirt. was the show shirt. It was lovely shirt, lovely shirt. And, 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 the, little show and the show too. pin. The show pin yes. matches the shirt so and the bag. And look what a cute combination that is. And the bag oh. has pockets everywhere. Pockets everywhere. They, yes, the I love pocket this. Pocket designs are 
a ray of side pockets yes. over here. You can put a water your, bottle so pocket fun. on this yeah. side so yeah. you yeah. can sure. have it handy. Put your cell phone, your little wallet so you can grab it fast. Well, you know, <laughs> we only have a few of these left. And so we are going to put them on Shop AQS this weekend, Friday. It'll start Friday. We will run a little special on this souvenir packet. Oh. So be looking in your email. And if you don't get your email, come to shopaqs.com and visit us. And we will have that promotion so, going. Even if you didn't go to the show, you can. Yes, you can snatch them up. Just, there's a few left, just a few. Okay. Good. So you'll want to take part in that if you're, you know, you want fun. these wonderful souvenirs because they're so much fun. Well, we hope you're having fun out there making your quilts. And we can't wait to have you join us again here next Wednesday at 11 o'clock on Facebook.